Good morning gamers. Today in Let's Pokemon Go, we are checking out the San Francisco State University. A spot filled with random Pokespots and random Pokemon. As we explore the campus, a major highlight of this location is that it is filled with Pokespots. It's a perfect opportunity to restock on Pokeballs, potions, and revives you may have spent during your travels. For starters, we have the Professor Emeritus Maliun Bench, followed by the native plant gardening spot, the SFSU Administration Building, and the San Francisco State University Library, all within a two-minute radius of one another. From the Professor's Bench, we managed to receive a Hyper Potion, a Revive, and a Person Berry to help in the hunt for wild Pokémon. The Major Grass Field is home to plenty of wild Pokémon, and a wild Abra happens to be waiting nearby. With the Abra caught, we check out the front of the school that is a hot spot for weaker Pokemon such as Vatata and Pidgey. A Krabby Krabby showed up and I took this opportunity to catch it. Now going back to Pokespots. The Clock of Wisdom featured Pokeballs and an egg for me, while I had already gained what was within the 8th Memorial. I headed to the Dr. Vic, Rowan, and Joe Verducci statue for more prizes and noticed Buckeye, St. Francis by Buffalo, and the William Charleston dedication at other Pokespots nearby. Be sure to check them out if you make your way onto the campus. After spot hunting, we head back to the library that featured the SFSU Ying Yang, a sculpture that doubles as a Pokemon gym controlled by the yellow team. This gym is protected by three gym leaders, as it were, so this normally wouldn't be an easy accomplishment given the power difference. Claiming a gym owned by several people can be tough to reclaim, especially due to an early glitch in the beta that made it impossible for gym leaders to fall even after their HP was at zero. Luckily, that is not the case here. However, if that does happen, switching Pokemon or running from the battle should correct this error. Simply leave the battle and return to reset the match. Back to the gym battle, we take on Mr. Messicart, who defends the gym with his Oddish. Cloud M fights back with his Parasect and Miss Amelia Pond uses the Magmar, who rules the gym with the highest CP. As you will see, it takes several matches to knock out one person off of the gym. After defeating all three players a few times, usually after two or three rounds, one player is kicked out, making it easier to claim the gym.
After a few more rounds, Amelia Pond is left defending the gym with her Magmar. That is until the blue team comes in and claims yet another location. Alright folks, well, hope you enjoyed that video. Stay tuned for more and let us know what locations you would like us to check out in a later episode. Until next time, this is Gamer Jeff, signing off.